The NHL has had some embarrassing stances on cultural symbols and inclusivity this past couple of years. But this one is bizarre, honestly. I'm talking about the Fleury situation, who recently made headlines, and not for his saves or goals, but for a mask. Yeah, you heard that right, a mask. It was Native American Heritage Night on November 24, and Fleury wanted to celebrate it with a custom-designed mask. But guess what? The NHL wasn't having any of it. They told him wearing it would slap fines on him and the wild. But Fleury, being the stand-up guy he is, decided to wear it anyway, out of respect for the indigenous community and his wife, who's of indigenous descent. Now this mask wasn't just any old mask, it was a tribute to Dakota culture, with beautiful green, yellow, and red floral designs. It even had elements of the Dakota language and a quote in French from Fleury's late father. But here's where things get bad. The NHL has this ban on players wearing specialty-themed stuff, like jerseys or masks during promotional nights. They started this before the 2023-24 season, and let me tell you, it sparked a lot of controversies. Yes, they even banned Pride Tape, but had to backtrack when they saw the support for Travis Dermott of the Arizona Coyotes. Back to Flurry, he knew the significance of the mask and even offered to limit its use to warm ups and pay any fines himself, but the NHL doubled down threatening an additional significant fine if he went through with it. Fleury, supported by his agent Alan Walsh, called the NHL's decision stupid and wore the mask during warm-ups against the Avalanche anyway. This whole situation brings up a big question. What's up with the NHL and its commitment to inclusivity? For a league that loves to parade the slogan hockey is for everyone, these actions seem pretty contradictory. Are they afraid these symbols might be controversial or hurt viewership? By putting restrictions on these expressions of cultural pride and inclusivity, the NHL is showing a lack of understanding and commitment to diversity. It's especially ironic considering how teams like the Chicago Blackhawks use cultural symbols or how the NHL recently introduced advertising on team uniforms. The league's okay with symbols when they bring in money, but not when they promote inclusivity or cultural heritage that's not just inconsistent. It's wrong. So what's the takeaway here? The NHL needs to rethink its approach to symbols and inclusivity. It's time the league aligns its actions with its hockey is for everyone motto, respects diverse communities, and prioritizes inclusivity over commercial interests. This would help grow the NHL. It's a great sport but ruined by the league. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Hope to see you in the next video.